The Wildcats win and they get to host the semifinals next week in Ogden. All right, now this is a pretty cool sight, huh? The Flamin' W on the side hill. Paratrooper jumping in. We're all set to go. But two minutes left in the first half. Maine's Chris Ferguson almost picked off by Parker Prater. And that would be crucial because a couple of plays later, they get in for the touchdown. Maine had a 7-3 lead at the half. Third play of the third quarter, Ferguson. To a wide open, Ernest Edwards. And Edwards has no problem waltzing in the end zone. 67 yards. Now the Wildcats down 14-3. Late in the third, now 14-6. Fourth and 12 for the Wildcats. Jake Constantine to Devin Cooley. He's got it. But the officials say it's an interception. They reviewed it. And they call it a touchdown as Cooley had control of it when he hit the ground before it was taken away from him. But Weaver missed the extra point. Now it's 14-12. Same score. Three minutes left. Ramon Jefferson. There he goes. 45 yards. They missed the extra point. 20-12 for Maine. Uh, Black Bears added a field goal. Weaver scored on the final play, but a little bit too late. Wildcats season coming to an end in the quarters. 23-18 is your final. Jeremiah Jensen was there, and J.J. Wildcats just couldn't do much of anything on offense, could they? Yeah, Rod, Weber State's goal is to win a national championship, and tonight was a humbling reminder that getting there is hard. They've never advanced to the semifinals of the FCS playoffs, and they're going to have to wait another year. You mentioned the offense that really struggled tonight because they could not run the ball. Minus one yard rushing, that is not a recipe for success. And then the turnovers, especially in the fourth quarter, and at any chance of a rally. We fought really hard this year to get to the same point that we did last year. And we just, you're right there. We're building. This is uh, two straight 10 win plus seasons. We've been to the quarterfinals twice. We battled like crazy against two really good teams, in my opinion, last year, James Madison, this year, uh, Maine. And um, we're right there with the top. I mean, we deserve to be in the top eight teams in the country for sure. We're right there with them. Um, we're close, but we got to take some more steps forward. Obviously, we got to pull. We got to find ways to win these games, and uh, we're still building. And the future is very bright. A lot of the seniors had us banked on going to the national championship, and you know, just to come that close to it, uh, it's, it hurts. Yeah, it hurts right now, but this program has a lot to be proud of. You remember where this program was before Jay Hill got here, and they are taking those steps. Ten and three this season, that is something to be proud of, but they are not satisfied. They want to get better, Rod, and that's the next step, and Jay Hill's going to work hard to get there in the offseason. Back to you. All right, Jeremiah, thank you. All right,